It's been an extremely busy and exciting year for the Chamber. Um, our board began by reviewing and clarifying our mission and vision statements. Um, oops. There they are. Um, the these are the core principles of what the Chamber is trying to achieve. And we, the directors, uh, attempt to ensure that each event and action of the Chamber is in line with both our vision and our mission statement. Um, thanks in large part to the work of our communications and policy manager, Sarah Sands, we had many successes in increasing communications with our members and the business community. We are now not only on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Flickr, but we also have a brand new YouTube channel. This channel features all of our Chamber events, which are now videoed by our Chamber member, David Cooperstone. Since the launch of this channel in February 2011, we've had over a thousand views of our event videos. Our videos contain great testimonials from our members and some very important people. <laughs> All videos are also available directly on our website. New Alerts was launched in October 2010. Uh, since then, we've had more than 350 of our Chamber members actively use this free service. This social media service allows our members to post jobs, discounts, events, and more on the community wall, which then automatically goes into a weekly newsletter to all Chamber members. We are the first Chamber in Canada to provide such service to our members. Our new alerts and our Twitter live feed are displayed on our Chamber website homepage. Chamber staff are now using Constant Contact, an email marketing software which is also used by other chambers. The chamber gets this software free of charge because we're a member of the BC Chamber of Commerce. Constant Contact is used in conjunction with our member software so that we can send information and get feedback from our members in a more effective and efficient manner. This year we're pleased that we introduced the Chamber Catch-Up, which is a quarterly summary of all chamber news. Our quarterly summary was translated into Chinese and then sent to the Shaman Chamber of Commerce for distribution to its members. Uh, this summary is also available on our website in both English and Chinese. Since June 2010, the Chamber and its members have been featured in the media on numerous occasions with an estimated worth of over 200,000 advertising dollars. The Chamber has also been mentioned in coverage on CBC, Global, CKNW Radio and Fairchild TV. And I want to um, give a special note of thanks to both the Richmond News and the Richmond Review, who have both prominently featured chamber activities. We really appreciate your support. So please have a round of applause for both of our local papers. Um, in May of this year, we released our brand new membership package, which is also available in Chinese. Networking is at the heart of the Chamber, and we had many great networking highlights. A lot of credit should go to our events and administration manager, Carol Young. Over the last year, we ran over 40 events, including our Strictly Networking Breakfast, which has grown uh, over 50% in attendance, our monthly Business After Fives at business places of various Chamber members, which we saw an increase in attendance this year of over 30%, and various business seminars. We hosted lunch, lunches and breakfasts with distinguished speakers such as Kevin Grandia, Craig Wright, Ian Jarvis, Peter Fassbender, Colin Hansen, David Talk, and our former Premier, Gordon Campbell. We also hosted other numerous events, including our signature events. The 911 Awards, led by our co-chairs, Lori Chalmers and Craig Jones. Uh, the Business Excellence Awards, led by our co-chairs, Dana Westermark and Rob Akimo our annual golf tournament led by our chair, Vicki Harvey, and the chair of our upcoming tournament, uh, Brian Williams, the Christmas luncheon, our summer barbecue, and all of these exceeded attendance and revenue figures compared to previous years. In September of 2010, I was privileged to lead, along with our executive director, Craig Jones, and our international chair, Gerard Edwards, a trade delegation from our chamber to visit Xiamen in Shanghai. 
This is a very successful trip where business relationships were developed at the Shanghai Expo and an agreement of friendly cooperation was signed between our chamber and the Shaman Chamber of Commerce, connecting to us with their 5,000 plus members. In May of 2011, a delegation from the Shaman Chamber of Commerce visited us. The purpose of their trip was to look for real estate opportunities in Richmond. We expect to see more and more focused delegations from Shaman and continuing interest in business opportunities in Richmond from other parts of the world. The Chamber is a advocate for, boy, for business and we were a strong voice in advocating for the open skies policy, the road incident policy, um, issues surrounding the Fraser River, the Massey Tunnel and Nelson Road, interchange, business licensing, and um, business vote for at the municipal level. We have continued our focus on being more relevant to our members and actively being, actively being the voice of business in Richmond through online polls to hear what our members have to say about important issues such as HSD and the minimum wage. Um, through the work of our membership development manager, Shelby So, the Chamber has focused on being more relevant to our members. Our new members breakfast was a very successful initiative whereby new chamber members were given the opportunity to network with chamber staff, board members, our ambassadors, and other chamber members. Our ambassador program was a very successful program, and we have many of our ambassadors here today, so I'd ask them to stand up and be acknowledged. Ambassadors? These are the people that greet you and network with you at every event. And I'd like to have a, the, the give special thanks to Mike Carminian for his leadership with this group. Um, this group has made a real difference in making the chamber more relevant to its members. You know, this is almost like a, one of your high school presentations, so. <laughs> but it, it is true, the chamber did a lot this year. And we basically have effectively used our new communication tools. We strengthened our internal resources, improved membership development and communication, and continue to build the Chamber brand in our community. Um, I'd like to especially thank our board members. You know, it's hard to believe that one year ago we took this picture. Your board pledged to work for the benefit of all Chamber members, and we should be all grateful that we have a group of selfless individuals who have done a tremendous amount of work voluntarily to benefit the Chamber and its members. Our board members are all successful business people who take countless hours out of their time sometimes without any recognition, to further the goals of the Chamber and benefit chamber, chamber members. I am humbled by the fact that this great group of people agreed to serve as directors during my term as chair, and they deserve a tremendous amount of gratitude from both our Chamber members and myself for their work on behalf of the Chamber this year. So let's have a round of applause for our directors. I would also like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the City of Richmond, Your Worship uh, Malcolm Brody, our City Liaison Councillor Bill McNulty, and Tourism Richmond for your continued cooperation with our Chamber to advocate for Richmond businesses. Now I've said throughout my year that um, one of the competitive advantages of Richmond that is that we have a spirit of cooperation that exists between our Chamber, the City of Richmond, and Tourism Richmond. Uh, this was so evident during our trip to China, and I know that this will continue under the leadership of our new chair, Lisa Wong. I also want to thank our three MLAs. I know uh, John Yap is in the audience, but also Rob Howard and Linda Reed. You know, Richmond businesses are so fortunate to have three MLAs who are so supportive of the business community and the goals of our chamber. I'd like to say a special thank you to our chamber staff, Carol, Cher Sarah, Shelby, Terry, Lisa, Lorna, and Elaine. These work, people work tirelessly for us. They attend more events than most of us. They live and breathe the chamber, and their dedication to our members is unbelievable. So let's have a round of applause for them. <laughs> Lastly, to our executive director, Craig. How many of you work for over 1,100 bosses and have or over 15 senior managers? Because this is essentially what Craig does on a day-to-day -day basis. He works for us because he believes in the Chamber movement. He truly believes that the Chamber is the voice of business and works tirelessly to stress that what we can accomplish as a whole is much greater than what we can accomplish as individuals. So 
Thank you, Craig, for your work for the chamber. You might have noticed I've done quite a bit of name dropping here, and that's by design. Without the contribution of those individuals that I've mentioned and so many others that I have not mentioned, this chamber would not be as successful as it is. You know, I said at the beginning of my term that this was our chamber. And all of those who I've mentioned have really treated this like their chamber and as their own and worked as hard for the chamber as they would for their own businesses. And for that, I'm very grateful. And I've been very fortunate uh, to serve, over, serve under some great chairs, Barbara Tinson, Leslie Matheson, Ray Sagad. I got involved in the chamber through knowing another past chair, Cynthia Chen. And my goal this year was really simple, to try to uphold the high standards that they had brought to the chamber. Just basically, don't screw things up. Um, but in our new chair, Lisa Wong, we have a person that sees the best in all situations, who is patient to a fault, and who I know will be able to, able to lead the chamber to even loftier goals. I'm really looking forward to working under Lisa's leadership, and I finish my term very confident that the chamber has a strong leadership team in place. Thank you all for your support of the chamber. Thank you directors, thank you staff for making me look like a good chair. And uh, thank you all for putting up with this longer speech than normal. You know, this is my last speech, so I thought I had to draw it out a bit. So thank you very much. I'd like to invite uh, Mayor Malcolm Brody, City of Richmond, to come forward to perform the swearing-in ceremony for the new Board of Directors. <laughs> so I would invite all directors, including returning directors, to come up for the swearing in ceremony. I swear that I will faithfully and truly perform my duty as director of the Richmond Chamber of Commerce, and that I will, in all matters connected with the discharge of such duties, do all things and only such things as I truly and conscientiously believe to be adapted to promote the objectives for which the Chamber Chamber of Commerce was constituted according to the true intent and meaning of the same, so help me God. Your Board of Directors.